site visit of the Grand Bay Court House on the construction. from the um, Gambia police station to the courthouse so today. We have some visitors. No, that's for the prisoners. That's yes, for the yes, when you come into the cell area. So let's say you're inside the already. Yeah, they have to be cell. Yeah, we have to do the report. So we have to be still connect that to the building. So from, in, from the police station to yes. the cell. Yes. So we have a janitor's closet. That is long. And we have three cells. One, two, three. And we have a washroom. Two washrooms. Well, I've not been to the cell in your zoo, but I've not seen it, but it looks a little too spacious here. Yeah? Well, I. I. It looks so this is one cell by itself. Yes. That's a lot of space. Yeah, that's a lot of space. From what I see, that it can hold up at least a little bit. This is keeping, keeping with the human rights yes. Yeah. It's in keeping with the human rights policy. For the will be hot, but so we are here at Grand Bay, an on-site visit. Today we are at the Grand Bay I think there's also the uh, slushy place to to keep mops and wash mops. Uh. Yes, I put it in a second row. It's a cheap money street.
July, end of July. Yeah. Well, I, I would like to say the end of July. So when, when we're told June, July, I give it one more month. So let's say um, end of July. And it is historic in the sense that um, your government is doing that at no cost to the taxpayers. And this building has been constructed uh, under the CBI program, the various of the CBI program. And we have heard this um, hope have been created that six point now I've been to how much six point two billion dollars in some foreign accounts. And apparently people are driving around by minute to see the reality on the ground, which is what what we have been able to do as a government, um, to build houses for people and uh, and, and to build um, uh, roads and so many things to educate our, our young people, people who are once survivors and are now able to, to, to have uh, the, the dignity of having a degree, the dignity of having a proper home, etc. And, you know, and, that, and I think that is very important for us to appreciate as a people how fortunate we are of a situation whereby we have a program that is properly and efficiently managed, um, to, 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 to whereby the things that we actually dreamt of having before are, are now um, being brought to the fore because of the proper administration of, of that facility. And, and to ensure that the people of this country um, benefit from the CBI program. So I'm happy that the chief manager is there because she has been lamenting with the lead minister, minister for us to have our manager can give them. We made the promise, and we always try to keep the promise, and that is why we're here today. Uh, then, of course, um, one of the things that we have been doing here in the past that we have all this program being financed under the CBI program, and local contractors have not been afforded the chance to do that. Um, standing away, Mr. Mr. Later, um, is from Pishle. Yes, sir. I saw a face in Pishle about time. A young gentleman and a huge uh, contractor to employ local people and to be able to do this facility. Yeah. I, I want to say further that as we, as we embark on ensuring that we do every, everything possible to ensure that we facilitate yeah. the proper administration yeah. of justice, yeah. um, that is one um, part of what the government has been able to do over the years and to ensure that. Firstly, we have proper accommodation um, with, 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 with modern facilities. And secondly, ensuring that, um, um, that we provide that adequate numbers so far as the marriage is concerned. Let me just say, at one stage, um, we, had, we, had, we had the full complements of management. For matter of fact, we did not have enough um, hot room spaces for management. It happens then, um, the other world. Two of the magistrates, one returned to his home, in private practice, to go there, 
I run along Mr. Root here, a good friend of mine. I'm, I'm retired because of health purposes. And the other person, um, um, Ms. Gail, who is retired because she says she cares for life. And, and so we, we are in the process of, of getting additional magistrates. Uh, we so far lost last month. We have been able to, to engage a new magistrate um, in the overseas. And we're currently trying to get two additional magistrates to so have the full complement of it. Fundamentally, what has to be done is to ensure that there's proper, there's proper management on the bench. Because we have we can have the buildings, we can have the full complement of magistrates on, magistrates on the bench, but ultimately it's the magistrates sit on the bench. Roosevelt Ferry, the Prime Minister of Black, can sit on the bench. Okay, and to control the, to control the bench. So, so I'm happy about that, and then we're going to ensure that we have proper administration at the magistrate court level. As we speak, we have a, a court administrator, but she does several things. We have to ensure that we have somebody, the court administrator or director, or, you know, to ensure a coordinator, and to, to ensure that um, cases are properly managed, and, and of course, the proper dates are set. And then you can have a situation whereby how the shows can be properly assigned to cases. So those are some of the issues that we have to address from an administrative standpoint. But from a from one standpoint, from a policy standpoint, we're doing what we have to do in terms of ensuring that we provide the facility. So in New Berlin, in Gambia, we have done some, as you know, Rosso, um, the, the building traditionally that has been used for the registry. As you know, we moved this registry, um, inclusive of the Supreme Court, to two stairs up, up, up at the um, post office building. We well, spent over $4 million. And everybody's saying, you know, I met at the bar association yesterday, and I said to them, after Hurricane Maria, where people who roofs, houses were being roofed, people had the roofs, probably the roofs, and it's about no place to go to, 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 to the work lot. And they said, that, oh, we have been always saying about what a good job the government has done and to ensure that we have a proper facility to house the Supreme Court. But that is being said quite not long enough. So that's one thing that we have to do. So we also have spent a lot of money to, to, to ensure that the building registry, registry was once there and it was properly retrofitted upstairs. We now have six courts. Six courts. We actually have been Rosen. So we have more courts than the magistrates. That's why we're going to find that then we have a court um, uh, specifically to deal with family matters. And you will have so, so we're hoping and that we'll get to the magistrate. We're speaking for what I've told, an interview was done with, with, a, with a new magistrate, and hopefully we can, we can um, see that person that we can very soon. So we're committed to the, to, to, to the justice system. And, and another government has done what they've done is ensuring that, um, in terms of St. Joseph, we, 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 we did some work on, uh, to ensure that there's air conditioning at the, at the, at the, at the magistrate court level, uh, but we're reconstructing the St. Joseph Police Station. And specific provision has been made for my children. You know? So, and so that, 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 that's what we're doing. And, and from the Supreme Court level, we are now one of the issues that we have in terms of um, caveats and pending is to, is to have a separate judge to deal with specifically that issue. So, we are um, very much focused on, on, on the justice system and, and to ensure that we can do our part as a government from a policy standpoint, but the persons who are involved, the police and, and the officers of the court. Also have a responsibility to do what they have to do and be, and be, to be ethical in the way they go about them. So I will rest there, and as you can see, just next to you there, we are building a new fire station. I'm going to guess now. That fire station, um, we, we, one of the things we are trying to do, as you can see, we drive around Granby, Granby is emerging. Over 100 something houses are being built in Granby, new houses. So a new community is, is emerging. So we have to ensure from an emergency response um, um, perspective that we have the capacity. And so, so yes, we have the court there so that, um, so that matters can be, can, can be held and uh, grievances can be dealt with and resolved. But we have to ensure about emergency response and also responding to the, um, the, um, the fires, etc. That's just critical. One of the issues we have had historically in Gambia is that um, not having enough adequate um, manpower. So as the community is emerging, and you see how the government is thinking in a futuristic standpoint, very futuristic, we're going to have more people in application. We're going to, they're going to be the need for one, ensuring that people who are grieved can, 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 can get them at a result, we need to have a call. And we're going to have 
more strain on the, on the system in terms of the emergency response. So you need to have more fire officers. So we want to have upon completion uh, that building uh, in terms of the construction phase. Uh, I was told we would have taken uh, well, from the personal is a year. The perimeter of the bus step is a year. The same thing. Uh, well, 12 months, one year. Is that so? I want to say one year, so something like it's very long. But 12 months is So, so far, from what I know, I've been pointing that building. Three months has gone. So, you can't tell me 12 months again. So, if you drop, if you're doing more three months, from 12 months, you get three months, nine months. So, I do my calculation. So, in January, <coughs> we're hoping that the building, the fire station will be completed. But the important thing about that, the fire station building, you go there after and go to take your images. It is a need to have a special place for the fire appliances, the ambulance and the ambulance and fire truck. And also to ensure that there's a certain degree of privacy as to how women and men are accommodated. We have been able, both in the public sports and the fire department and all the projects, to ensure that there's gender equity. Okay? Um, um, so far as the police is concerned, the law says that it's the minister who has to give a program for additional um, um, police officers. And, and, and so there was also the, always the mentality that we cannot take too many women in the police force. I, I said that a program will be given uh, for any application for additional officers, not including women. And, and we're ensuring that the same thing is done for the fire station, fire service. So, so in Grand Bay, we're going to need to have at least how many six female officers? Huh? Yes, sir. Oh, that, that's Mr. Lita, eh? I'm the deputy fire chief. I six female officers. So we want to have at least 20 of fire officers at Grand Bay. And then to have the privacy for women, to have the proper room, the separate washrooms, etc. And have a proper operational room. And so you have to also be um, um, mindful of the fact I want to take officers from the home and bring them to, to, to the station. We have to provide um, some basic facilities for them. Proper dining area, proper, proper kitchen, and operational rooms, etc. So all the things that will be contained um, in that. At this point, um, we have made provision in this year's financial cycle for a new fire truck. And that fire truck is costing over a million dollars. We say that we're this, yeah? And the fire truck has to be built from scratch. So we have done some paid, we have paid the, um, the first dollar payment, 50% for the fire truck. So we're hoping within six months, no? 14. 14 months, so a long time to build a truck. It takes a longer period of time to build a truck than when you conceive to give birth to the So we have to start from scratch. So, and then we're also making provision for, for a new ambulance. Uh, everything that, that we need. To ensure that somebody can be properly stabilized in the event that you have you have an accident or something. And so that's what that's that's what we're doing. So we're not only building a new fire station in Gambe, but we're also ensuring that we get new appliances and stuff like that. But we need to complement um, um, the, 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 the men's effort to ensure that uh, they can respond as quickly as possible. So I'll rest there and um, along with the contractor. So anybody else who has a question and I hope you take any question now. All right, all right. So right now we are the um Grand Matthews report. So right now we're starting on the balcony, the port area. We have the um, seating area, which is just at the back of us in the wall. I just did a walk through so if you were on through Emonies or I guess Kairi, or you will have a better idea how it is. And then we have the magistrate office, we have a kitchen, electrical room that was in CCTV um, the system. And that electrical room, too, they told me that that electrical room has to be aircon, along with what some, I guess, the um, Magistrate room, yeah, protective equipment and along with the magistrate room, the court room have to be there for that. How many floors do you have here? Just, just one. We have a on the cellar downstairs, I guess, later on. Um, 
they can use it for storage or whatever the government chooses. The, the, the roof is all concrete. Yeah, so we have a concrete slab. The porch level is a little slightly lower than the roof of the original building. So when you're looking at it, you will see like two different levels of the floor. Everything is all concrete. I see you have three cells for prison officers. Yes. How are you going to get them across for the cells? Without with the public. Well, we want to demolish a wall. Well, the, that building will be attached to the um, oh, present the station, um, police station. So yeah. we have to do a wall through that police station. And then when the um, inmates will be inside the police station, there will be no, yes, there will be no interference with the general public. So they will just be walking. Through. The minister said about June, July, completion will be, will be done. Construction here, yeah. everything will be completed by June, July. Well, that, that is one of our goals, but we can't control everything, so we'll be working as hard as we can to make that possible. Yeah. Solar panels. This one. I'll think of a model structure that it will have solar panels. This is solar panels, require big That's a totally different issue. It's not taking the weather into consideration. Solar panels, water storage. Solar panels with this structure, with this size, it's small. You need a huge area to accommodate solar panels. But you need maybe Three times the area of the building to start introducing solar panels. In terms of water storage, the water tanks will be installed. It is. You see the building. Uh, first, I would like to thank you guys for, for the. First, I would like to thank you guys for the visit, and then I would like to thank uh, Mr. Donald uh, Litang. Uh, as a local uh, contractor, he's one of the uh, best local contractors we worked with. And he started this building from excavation and will uh, continue to completion. Let me give you an idea about the building. It's about 2,000 square feet. Uh, it has uh, been designed by MMC, uh, taken into consideration uh, all aspects of uh, design and requirements uh, as a magistrate court that requires both physical uh, and uh, uh, electronic, let's say, uh, security. Uh, the building has been, uh, has been uh, designed and built as a reinforced concrete. Uh, structure uh, and walls as well where necessary in terms of defendant or if you want to call it inmate cells etc the design has uh, incorporated both public and uh, governmental or jurisdiction uh, facility in addition to inmate all the access control uh, both physical and uh, electronic has been uh, encountered. Uh, that's why we have attached an entry from the police, existing police station, right to the to, to magistrate, so the defendant will have a secured access from the police station to the magistrate court. The public entry is separate. Uh, the uh, uh, common let's say, public, defendant, uh, uh, witnesses. It's all been studied uh, in all aspects. That's why we have the access control system. Uh, in addition to all other system with regards to uh, internet, fire alarm, firefighting systems, etc. all this has been encountered on high uh, international standards. That's with regards to the magistrate court. Uh, I don't know, do I have to also explain the fire station here? Okay. As for the fire station building, it's about 
7,500 square feet. Uh, it includes, of course, all the offices, the living and dining facilities, rest facilities for the officers. Upstairs, we have the uh, male barracks and the female barracks for uh, uh, residents, in addition to even guest uh, facility, in case they have guests from other uh, constituency. Uh, the, as for the engine room, it's good for two cars, and the building is equipped from A to Z with all what a fire station is required with regards to generators, uh, water tanks, uh, etc. That's for the uh, fire station. Uh, the finish, the architecture of the uh, buildings will complement the uh, rest of the neighborhood and the housing projects we're doing. And that's why after we're done with the magistrate court, we will renovate the police station to look as one building, so it, it, it belongs. Uh, as for the schedule uh, of the magistrate court, we are looking for end of July, beginning of August. Hopefully it will be handed over to the uh, uh, government. As for the fire station, it started later, so it will finish within, let's say, January 2025. Again, I would like to welcome you and thank you for your visit. Uh, question to the Chief Magistrate. Um, your impression of what you've seen so far, and also, you know, this for a small community, we have three cells. Um, your impression now, is this the new way now building police stations in the communities? Because this one, I think that's a lot of cells. That's my Okay, well. Focusing on the cells, I believe that um, it's good because in some stations in the past or courts in the past, you would have one. Um, remember, you have male and female. Sometimes you have male and female inmates that you cannot keep together. So in, in those instances, we would have to put the males in the cell and put the fem leave the females outside sitting on a, on a chair and that creates security risks. Um, sometimes you have somebody that's um, acting up. So I believe having the three cells is very welcomed. You can separate men, women, and probably those that are, are not behaving themselves, so to speak. Um, yes, yes. And... Um, the thing is, we because of our top topography, sometimes we have um, arrests where people coming in on boats, back door, and so on, and you have large arrests. Sometimes you have three, four, five, six people being arrested at one time. And I believe it's ideal to have them separated and to have everybody in one cell it creates confusion a lot of times. So, but generally, I am very pleased with what I see today. I'm happy that the work has begun and is taking good shape. Um, it just brings my mind back to, the minister said, um, Maria, but it goes even further back to Erica. Um, the magistrate court was housed at that time at the Grand Bay Community Center. And um, when the disaster occurred, I believe people from Ubicans too were placed in the community center for housing because the community was destroyed. And um, I remember just walking through the um, the court at the time, and I, I can remember seeing a baby sleeping in inside the bench. And I mean, it was really heartbreaking, but it displaced us because homes had to be built for these people, so they stayed at the community center for a very long time. And um, that was summer, and then we going into September, October, and no court in Granby. And I had to begin walking around, actually looking for a place for the Grand Bay Magistrate's Court. Then there is some arts, an arts center that is in Geneva. And the people gave us that building to use for, for a while. So we were happy we got a space and we started having um, the Grand Bay Magistrate's Court there. But then when the tourist season opened the following year, they said they need their place because that's what it was built for, to sell their craft and so on. So we had to be looking again 
And um, I remember it's Mr. Leitzel, former PS, he's from Pishle, so he suggested the Pishle Community Centre. And when I went to look at it, I found it was somewhere we could have used for a while. So we have been there ever since. But anytime you're in a building and it's not your own, you know, it creates its own issues. So I am very happy that, you know, very soon we will be able to be here and the Grand Bay Magistrate Scott will have a place that it can call home so we can actually you know, settle and function the way that we have to function. So I'm grateful to the government for the work that they're doing. And yes, it's a, a real joy. And so with the placement of the rooms as they are, I noticed the magistrate's office is not very far from the cells. Is that the it's not far from the cells, but it has separate entrances. Mm -hmm. Um, so the way it is designed, I don't think we will bounce into each other at all. So it's, it's properly designed. Yes, um, it will work well. Thank you. Good news for the fire department, Mr. Leta. Your attention of what you've seen here and the satisfying the speed at which the work is going on. Yes, it is, it is work in progress, and we have the challenge of housing in the Granby area. But when you look at the firefighting capabilities in Granby, we need something better because of development. We have a lot of development happening in this area, and this area is basically sometimes can be cut off from the city. So, who gives support to the Grand Bay area? It is headquarters, which is Roso, and there can be difficulty in coming to that area. So, with the level of development, we need the level of, of protection also. So, we welcome the construction of the fire station. And as Mr. Murad explained, this station will, it, it will be basically a model for construction of fire stations around the island in the future. We have, it's two floors, ground floor and first floor. So all operation activities, it's on the ground floor. We have our appliance and ambulance bays on the ground floor also. And this one would also bring to light if, if staff is sleeping, access to the engine room to the appliance and the ambulance would be direct and we have recommended and so far it is in the plan for the sliding poles so they come from the beds and straight down to the trucks and ambulance in case they have to respond it does not always have to be via the staircase so this we welcome we're also looking at the contamination b and future for future development so this station is basically for now and the future we are not looking to change anything with a design in the next 20 years. Because we are saying, based on projections of the fire and ambulance services, it will be able to accommodate staff going down. Presently at the Grand Bay Station, we have 10 staff. But this building will accommodate much more. And we are looking also when the legislation would have changed for the free shift system, that it will even be better for us again. So the mail barracks should be able to accommodate up to 12 persons per sheaf and the female barracks up to six persons per sheaf. So that's looking at the future. So we welcome that, that initiative. And as, as I said earlier, it is a step in the right direction, work in progress. How many trucks and how many higher ambulances do you have? Presently, we operate six ambulances, seven ambulances, sorry, around the island. And we have trucks at Roseau, Melville Hall, two trucks at Melville Hall, two trucks at Roseau, one at St. Joseph, one at Portsmouth, one at Granby. This is what we operate at the moment. We are always looking for upgrade. And upgrade is one of the areas that we, we take seriously. We, we are looking at providing the best service. So to provide the best service, you need to have the best. So we need changes. And the minister talked about the procurement of one truck. In, the, in this financial year, the orders have been placed in already, so we're looking forward to that. And we're looking forward to even more in the coming years. We will always keep pushing for better and more because it's an emergency service and we need to be up to date at all times. Each station has an ambulance. Present, well, we do not operate ambulance at Kinfield, but we have eight ambulances and we eight stations, but we, we operate seven ambulances at the moment. Sometimes it does not allow for the intimate breakdown. So what we would want to see is that we have more than what is needed exactly. So if we have that, then if one breakdown, we can simply move one and 
get until it gets going again and return it. So this is the plan of the fire department and that's what we always push forward to. And the minister yes. did announce a new fire truck and an ambulance. Yes, a new fire truck and one new ambulance. So it's a step upward, but we are looking to see even we if we could develop it even more. So we are still proposing to, to government in the next financial year to consider even more again. Yes. Okay, we, and I'm not sure if you guys have any questions about the minister, the member of parliament for the area is on his way. Is that okay? Hmm? Yeah. Okay, thank you very much. Um, um, I really want to appreciate. Um, I appreciate you being here today on a busy schedule and to bring and to transmit what we consider to be very relevant and important information to the general public because um, there's a misconception, well, a, a false impression by some that nothing's happening in the country. And then when you travel around the country, you see so many things being done at a time when things are so difficult globally. You, you've seen, you, you see the construction of an international airport, you see the construction of a, of a number of sustainable new homes. You're seeing the construction of a number of roads for the country. You have, you have seen the construction of a number of health centers for the country. And um, you, you see the construction before your eyes of a brand new building to house the Marshall Cut for Grand Bay, a good fire station building, something that we promise. And, and, and really and truly, what we're seeing, Dominica, essentially, is the dawn of a new renaissance. A new renaissance whereby the people who were once survivors are now owners of the homes. Are now doctors, engineers, because they have been provided for by this administration because of the good self of the Prime Minister and the policies of the Labour Party to have an opportunity to go to universities and to pursue contemporary disciplines. And these are things that, that these are, these are stories that we need to tell. To, to, to all of us, not, not, not only as politicians, but to understand and to realize and appreciate um, since our independence, how we, have, how we have emerged as a country. And that is so because you have a government in office with, 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 with policies that are responsive to the needs of all and some the ordinary man, in particular, um, to be given a life one of dignity. And I, and I think that that is critical going forward. So, so uh, as we speak, uh, as I've said, a number of new homes have been built in, uh, in Grand Bay. And um, one of the things, of course, we need to, do, we need to dispel also is that notion that, um, that local contractors are not being engaged. You heard uh, that the, the, tomb, the contractor for that area, for the, sorry, for the, for the fire station building and the Marshall Court building, is some pitchling. And from what I've been told, is a very competent contractor. And so you are adding value to the local economy, or economies, not only in Gambia, but also in the surrounding areas. So um, we, we have also um, ensured that one of the things that we're trying to address uh, is as to, uh, to ensure that the witnesses, especially in the rules of my court area, uh, who have to wait outside of the hearing of the court, can sit in a dignified way. And we, we, we have been able to um, provide a recovering the washing facility and also um, a proper seating accommodation. And we were able to do that quickly. And, 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 and within a couple of weeks, I completed it. And, and the contractor is fully paid for, for that. We'll be proceeding to do some um, additional work on the roof at the um, Marshall Court Building Morozo. Minor, minor work, uh, less than $4,000. And also, as we speak, by this weekend, uh, we should see uh, and sh uh, that the building, homes in the Marshall Court, will be repainted. And, and, so, and so, these are all the things that we're doing to ensure that we provide proper accommodations for, for, for the magistrates and the witnesses and other people who have to within the setting of the court. And, you know, so I'm happy that you guys are there. And then, 
we'll be having it from the, from the ministry, uh, regular um, um, press conferences. The next week or two, we'll be having one. And we'll be um, we're going to focus, um, just focus on the registry of titles and also um, prisons. Uh, so we, uh, these are two areas that, of course, I feel we need to do some more prominence to. But the issue of titles. On a code of arms has up with one deal still at 10. There's everything that you need to do. You need, you need land. To build a house, you need land. And, and you cannot be a dignified Dominican if you don't have at least a title you can use to go to the bank. And that is what the Labour Party has been able to do. It is because when you came into office, and I'm sorry for, for going to the call today, that's, that's consistent, that we had people who were actually reduced to squatters. Squatters. And one particular case was, I, I can recall, was in Beno Avenue, where the people were living in Arabia. But the government at the time said to them, I offered to sell them the lots. With no loan, you know, with a ravenous traffic in the community, at $5 a square foot. What we did, what the parents do, did it with good self. And the Labour Party well, was man was about the ordinary man. Okay? Gave them the land for a dollar a square foot. And we constructed the road. And that will survive Hurricane Maria, to survive Erica. You see? And that was done for the country, in the under, in, 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 in the time spirit. You see, in Fokoli, and in Point Michel. It was for the country. And I, and I think we must not forget these things. Not only that, and then we are now building houses for these poor people. And I, and I think this is a thing that we need to celebrate over country. To be quite honest with you, and I, I, as I get older, I'm, I'm, you know, I'm a senior man, I'm a senior. And I, and I think um, it, it, it's hurtful to me as someone who has given their entire life, adult life, to this country. Okay? That, 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 that the, the tribulation and the struggles that were encountered years ago. Where we were and where we are, where we are not, where we are now, that people do not have um, the, the guts and the honesty within themselves, you see, and the decency within themselves to recognize where we have been and where we are today. You see, where the prime minister just coming from China, uh, even in airport, okay, and then almost two uh, about one hundred and seventy million dollars to build a new road. From possible going back to the airport at no cost to the Dominican people. Which government can do something like that without having proper and um, good relationship? The country that matters to the People's Republic of China. At a time when it's a global season, a global season not only in Dominica, but throughout, throughout the world. All of us who are young, and my good friend there, when you get a lot of global, what is happening in the United You guys laughing. <laughs> What's happening last time? We had guava on a hungry stomach. You have nothing to do with guava, Mr. Later. What is happening to one of your guava? Huh? Constipate. Can you hear what I'm Constipate. That's what the beer used to go for in Dominica, you know. They went, no, everybody driving is a vehicle. No, everybody has a, has a kiss to a house. No, everybody has a degree. You understand? I have no cost to the, 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 and, and the, the parents do not have a second mortgage. How many of us went, including myself to university? I paid a thousand six hundred one for 10 years. You understand know what that investment is? And people say nothing happened in the country. They're looking for $6.2 billion. Huh? And the only place they can find it is on the, on the calculator. You understand? But we're going to see us in the country. The only place they can find it $6.2 million is on the calculator using their own maps, which they themselves don't understand. You know what I'm so we have to, we can pay our politics if you want. But we have to understand, we understand, we have to understand that Dominica belongs to all of us. The Labour Party is not going to be in the office for, 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 forever. But the important thing is to create a foundation and to leave a legacy that all of us can be proud of. And this politicking, and, and, and this, this fake news, you see, and it's people that's going on social media platform and are saying things, is not going to build one health center for us in this country, one new school, one, much, no, one new municipal building, one new fire station building, nothing. But we are doing those things because the Labour Party leadership consists about people 
I'm a place on the fall. I'm sorry for taking all the time to say this. Is it? What did I update on the Central Police Station and the Portsmouth? Well, the Central Police Station started to complete, to be completed in, in October this year. And then um, we're hoping um, to have additional police officers. One of the things that we're trying to do is to have female officers in some places also. And to have a, a police specifically built to house the Marishal Court. As we speak right now, we have, we have an arrangement where we're using a community building in, in, in um, St. Joseph to how is the my should come. We have been able to ensure that we provide, uh, we, 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 we just, we, uh, not too long ago, we retrofitted that building, um, air condition unit, washroom, and an office for the magistrate. We just, but that's, that's, that's an interim measure. So, on another way, we're hoping in this financial year to um, complete the Castle State Police Station. We have some issues with Castle Police Station, but we're still confident it can be finished by June, July. And all things being equal. We are placing emphasis right now also on the, um, the prisons. And I want to commend the prison officers because it is a very challenging job. And one of the things that we're doing right now is we're embarking on a farm program. And I believe one of the mandates that are given to the prison is to make us to ensure the prison self sufficient in provision and vegetables. Because we have the labor power, we have the, we have the labor force. And then we can also provide. Um, it's a plus to the social center, not social center, how do you put it again? The infirmary, and also the hospital. As we speak, they have begun the process of planting their own, their own dashing, bananas, um, Irish potato, and um, we're going to continue in, in that regard. We'll be getting some greenhouses so that we can, uh, we can do the vegetables. We, by the end of this month, we should finish the secondary fence. The secondary fence is critical. So some of the objects we have had, the breakouts from the prison, uh, is by way of not having a secondary fence. The guys jump over the first fence, and there's a, although there's a precipice, but they find a way to pass through and they go down to the focal area. So we have we have restarted the work there, and by the end of April, we're hoping to finish that part of, 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 of the secondary fence. The issue about um, people who are on remand, um, by Mr. Stout, Mr. Stout. We should finish the, the remand section at the, at the prison in the next couple of weeks. Uh, next one? The second the, um, remand sec um, section at the prison. Remand section, right. Remand section, because what we're, what we're trying to do is to, is to instead of having all, everybody who's on remand in one general holding area, is to ensure that we have separate cells for every inmate. Or somebody's on demand with public facility. So we are at the state right now where the, where the gates have been built for themselves. From, from what I've been advised, that the gates are currently built. By this weekend, they, they should be completed. So the, the little um, issues of plumbing to be done and to pin, and to pin the building. So that section will be able to house 33 inmates. And that's something I'd like to say. On the whole issue about the number of people who are on remand. Let us not forget, and, and this issue, and, 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 and I want to commend the Prime Minister in the last, last conference for the frontal manner in which he answered the question on the whole issue about, um, about the judicial system and the number of people awaiting trial. This is not unique to Dominica. For a matter of fact, I, I had a discussion some months ago when I had a meeting in St. Lucia. I was talking to some of my colleagues, and they asked me, let's, let's exchange places. But we in Dominica have to also have to recognize, recognize that there's a, there's a problem that we have to solve. So the only issue of um, we had we had we had Maria, we, we, we had Maria, and we had, we had to we had to reconstruct, had to reconstruct files. The court buildings were roofed. There was no place in the rooms you could have got, got, could have gotten to rent. We got a place um, where used to have um, Charles Somerset. But the court operated on a shift system. You know what I'm saying? That in itself, inevitably, and of course, some um, backlog. Then came COVID. Then came COVID. Right? So those are the issues that we have. That we, have, that we, have, that we have in place after we can marry. Yes, sir. Did, did you work from almost first month to Rosal? <laughs> okay, Phil? <laughs> Rosal? Okay, right, okay, but you work, you work yes, for it. Yeah, and then, um, and then you're trying to get what you came to tell to. 
to, to um, salvage and to protect. Right. No. When they have people through, I mean, they have, they have no place to come to God. You, you get my point. No, for, I would like someone to answer, answer my question. For the, for the whole issue of public interest, you have people who are paying, uh, who are on remand for murder. Are you going to let them go on the street? For something? You get my point. Mm-hmm. So we have to take, so we have to ensure that, that the court is more efficient. Yes, that's what we're bringing in more magistrate. We're going to actually for, for the improve on the on the whole issue of uh, the court administration at the, at the national court level. You see, but in countries where you have a, we have a PI system, which means a uh, paper committal sorry system, almost automatic automatic um, committal to the high court. In some countries where they have where they have paper committal, which gives them, give the magistrate no discretion. You know what happening? You have a backlog at, this, at, at the high court level. You don't have enough court. Magistrate, you have to look at it. So we have to strike a balance. And also, you have a situation whereby a number of times you have different sponsors have a right to represent the clients. But when they have, when they have a matter at the high court, there are some matter to be addressed at the magistrate court level. So it has to be a, a, almost a, a joint approach. Involving all, uh, all the officers involved in the administration of justice to ensure that each one of them us, um, um, has a responsibility to ensure the proper administration of justice. So, we have, uh, we, as I said, we, we are in the process of getting a good judge, especially to deal with the issue of KBS. Right? We went as far as we had an issue and to create a new position, a register of titles, specific. So, when you came in, we had the Register General and the Registry dealing with all matters of title. We separated that and created a new position, a new office. Right, so, the only things we are doing as a responsible government to address some of the bottlenecks, but we will make it. And we are committed from a policy standpoint to provide solutions to our existing problems instead of us itemizing problems. We don't say, no, how do we solve them? And not point my fingers at ourselves, too. We may be responsible also for, for these problems. Yeah. Sorry, I'm going to ask you a question. I'm going to get from MNC card. And we have a number of projects over the island. Any updates on other projects? Okay, let me give you an idea about since we're in uh, Grand Bay. Grand Bay. Uh, it has about 103 houses that are, uh, let's say, uh, I would say, close to 90% completed. So all the structure, all the roofs, uh, all the windows, they're completed with regards to the housing. Okay. So uh, the only outstanding is the uh, the outside paint, which I uh, am holding it until we finish the infrastructure and the roads. So it does not get messed up and requires to be repainted. Uh, the, the travel ticks I'm talking about. As for the common buildings in Grand Bay, we're talking about the church that is about 85% completed. Uh, the community center is about uh, 30% completed. Fire station is about 20% completed. And the magistrate court is about 75% completed. So uh, I'm hoping that by January 2025, the uh, whole uh, uh, project will be completed and handed over to the government. That's for Grand Bay. Uh, you asked for other projects. Let's just start with uh, Scott said. Scott said is about 98% completed roads, infrastructure, housing, paint, everything. So it's about to be handed over to the government. Uh, Point Michel housing project is a good 75% completed. Uh, Trafalgar, the valley is about 65% completed. Uh, Canefield is about 80% 80% completed. Uh, and then we go to uh, Paybush is about 87, 88% completed. Uh, Vekas is about the same. 
88% completed. Penville housing project is about 60% completed. And then Woodford Hill housing project is about 75% completed. Uh, and then we have Joe Burton. Uh, we have some housing uh, facilities there, uh, which I would say is about a good 70% completed. Um, in addition to that, we have the grammar school, which is 75% completed. So hopefully, uh, I'm sure that by 2025, all these projects will be handed over. And at, at, at the same time, we're working at the airport, which is a good 10% for now. We are 1% ahead of schedule at the airport project. What's the completion date or year for the completion of the airport? Uh, you're talking about uh, October 2027. Yes. Are you satisfied with the pace at which work is being done? I am very satisfied, yes. Uh, I hope it would continue the same. Yes. Now, we may have some difficulty with the weather, etc., but that's what we are, uh, that's what we are trained to do now because we go behind schedule uh, during harsh weather and uh, now we are trained to make it up during the good weather yeah thank you very much look forward for your visit again thank you So there you have it, press conference by the Ministry of National Security, and uh, this is a view of the Grand Bay Fire Station. And as you heard, it will be completed in January of 2025. Okay, we heard a lot about the uh, construction of this magistrate's court here in Grand Bay, but just to the magistrate court, we will have the construction, we have the construction of the fire service. Uh, Carl, tell us a bit more about it. Um, well, I would uh, let the guy who's doing it talk about it. Uh, he's uh, Aldrich, he's from a &L, uh, Construction uh, Company. He's one of the excellent contractors, local contractors in Dominica. He did Savampai uh, Health uh, Center, at, uh, you know, cottage uh, health center. And it came out to be uh, one of the uh, super uh, structures, elegant, uh, high quality, etc. cetera. So uh, I, um, MMC nominated him to, to do the fire station. Uh, and so far, he's doing an uh, excellent job, and I ex I, I expect him to uh, to be very successful at uh, doing the fire station. Uh, he built the house next to the project, so he does his work in twenty four seven. I'll leave the ground to Aldrich to talk about himself. Yeah. <laughs> Yes, so it's going very good for the time we started. Uh, praise God for the good weather. So we hope to finish that project by the end of January 2025. And everything is good so far. Okay. Um, yeah.
is resilience the resilience um, program that Ronica has in mind, mm-hmm. the policies. Are you building with that in mind? Yes, very much so. Mm-hmm. And you can see for yourself from just that view, you know, yeah. we're doing that very well and we hope that will be very strong room, resilient for sure. Mm-hmm. Uh, then should we encounter any difficulty with the weather? What well, we, we cannot really fight with nature too much because, you know, God is in charge, mm-hmm. but that is very solid, very, very solid. And we're doing it just the right way. It will have a fire escape, it will have... Um, Water storage, yes, everything. yes, yeah. it will have everything. It's a modern fire station. You know, we have the poles for the firemen, we have gym, you know, we have a lot of stuff in there. So, it will be very comfortable and strong. Thank you, okay. Mr. Donald, later, yeah. how are you? Thank you. Thank you. Anything to say for us? Yeah, yeah, man, huh? can you stand? yeah, yes. Mm, well, I'm happy that you all came to visit the site. I mean, this is not new to me. Because I'm the one that constructing it. I construct this one as well. So in as much as my son was there, so I give him the opportunity to, you know, introduce himself. And to to you all know what what he's all about. So I thank you all for coming. Yeah. Yeah, for sure the speed is okay. The only thing I as I told the boss man is when it's come for money, that's the only thing that can keep me back. But other than that, yeah. Once you get the money, you yeah, yeah, good to go. Things of material. Yeah, it will come. Yeah, really. mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. On time. Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. Any challenges so far? So far no challenges. Because you know me already that is uh things I can handle. So you have to deliver on time? Precisely. Next year, January. No, 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 no. This year. This year. At least um at least um August. Mm-hmm. Hopefully by August. Right. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, thank you. Yeah, you're welcome. So there you have it. Mm-hmm. On site visit of the Grand Bay Magistrate Court, as well as the Grand Bay Fire Station. So on behalf of MO News, we thank you all for joining us. Thank you all for joining us and enjoy the rest of the day.